Okay, so after moisturizing my face, I'm going in with a durian tinted lip balm and it doesn't actually smell bad, so just apply it and you'll notice there's a pink color tint to it. And then I'm going in with a purple primer. This purple tone actually helps to brighten your face, especially on the dark circles and like yellow spots on the face. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and I'm just using this big sponge to just dab all over my face. I like to see how YouTubers blend out their foundation, so... I'm gonna leave this part here. I mean, just seeing your skin being coated to perfection just feels very therapeutic. So just add more. I generally like to put it on my hand and then use the sponge to dab on my hand before I apply it on my face. Do not forget the neck. And then I'm going in with a concealer stick for the under eyes, the nose area as well as my eyelids. So just blend, 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 blend it all out. So when we're done with our base, let's move on to locking it in. So we'll just use a compact powder from Rimmel. You'll notice that I use this compact powder a lot because I really like it, it's really good. Okay then using this eyebrow brush, I'm using the spoolie to brush and even my brows. And then start shaping the outline of your brows by starting on the outer side and then moving in towards the front. Repeat on the other side. And I'm doing an extra step which is to use an eyeliner to actually draw in thick eyebrow hair. So if you screw up or you think it's too dark, you know, just kind of blend it out. And then using this eye palette, I'm using a nude shade for my base colour on the eyes. And then I'm going in with the yellow eyeshadow from the Duo series. It's not actually very pigmented, so I'm going in with the one from the NYX palette. And then I'm also going in with the green, also from the same NYX palette. Remember to blow off the excess powder because you do not want any fallout on your face. So just make sure you just keep adding until you think there's sufficient green. So you kind of dab on the green onto the yellow but make sure the yellow is still visible. And then I'm using this brown eyeshadow from the Durian Makeup and I'm just blending it on the outer corners. So you'll realise that applying this actually creates more depth into the eyes. And then moving on to my yellow eyeliner, just kind of start from the outer wing and work your way inwards. I kind of feel it's easier that way. Once it's equal, you can kind of move on to the next step. So the next step which is lining your lower waterline with black eyeliner so this actually makes your eyes look rounder and make it pop. Then I'm using a darker green from the NYX eyeshadow palette as well. Applying on the inner corners as well as the lower waterline. And then I'm going in with my mascara. I don't typically like to use falsies because it's difficult and when you like pluck it out, it, I don't want like my lashes to be destroyed so mascara is the way to go for me. So some of the lower lashes as well. Okay, so done for the eyes, now we're moving on to the nose contour. I'm 
gonna use the yellow eyeshadow I used earlier from the NYX palette on my cheeks to add some yellow pigment and then go with this blush from MAC Then I'm gonna bust out this big guy from the Durian series, it's a yellow highlight and just go from the eyeshadow to the cheekbone so you just highlight the entire area Go big or go home, just spam it And then we're finally moving on to the last step which is lipstick and I'm using my own Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick And finally lock everything in with the powder And then you're done!